Yo, you did this movie perfect pitch. You do a great job. You like, gotta fix that word. Go back say it again. Pitch perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got that Theo Theo Huxtable disease, yeah. dyslexia. So he's through. Pitch perfect. I did that too for a long time. Yeah, but it's a great role. Like, how'd you hook up with the film? Well, I went in there to do animation because my dream is to be this huge animation star. So I went into Universal to do Lorax, and they like, oh, sorry, we already got people there. And I met this guy, Mike Noblock, and he was like, you know, they like, but we do need a song for Lorax. And it was like, Let it, uh, I did a song called Let It Grow. And I feel like my turnaround showed them the dedication. And so they was like, would you like to go to our casting? And I went up to the casting, um, lady and she said well have you ever did live action and I didn't even know what live action meant I was like oh no and she's like would you do it I was like yeah let's do it you know and then I did the audition and three days later they gave it to me and then a week later I moved to Baton Rouge for three months mm. so and totally didn't know what I was getting into because I thought they was just gonna let me walk on and then walk off and I was like I am in this movie yeah you really are I really am right yeah you had to do choreography and I, everything you got a couple solos oh my there. god I got a couple solos I got a couple words Mm -hmm. I, I say some things. Yeah. Uh, I grab some breasts. I grab some ass. You know what I'm saying? It's how is that for you? Because that Heimlich scene was really, really dope. How is that for you just doing all that and going out there like that? Well, you know what? I never feel a need to prove who I am or what I am to anybody. So I'm like, who cares? Grab a titty. Grab a butt. Who cares? Like, yeah. get out of here. You know, so it was easy to just because every we were all so close anyway and it was so cool that it's like okay Lexus I'm gonna grab your ass you know okay I'm about to grab your ass you know <laughs> so it was like it was easy for me and you know I appreciated the whole experience because they could have said no. Rock Nation as well yes what was it like the first time you met Jay? well management uh, by uh, Rock Nation it was I was I was at Mary J Blige's birthday party and he was just he give you a hug and I was like wow he's nice you know, but other than that, like being around them, he's just so cool and being so cool. They just some real um, honest people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You come around a lot of people that's not honest. You need that honesty in the game, especially you when you do so many honest. things like that. You just that's why they so far. Yeah. That's why they so far in life because they stay honest and there's no fakeness when you come around them. They not like trying to act like, oh, I'm who I am. They're like, hi, you're more, you're as important as I am because mm -hmm. we all humans. Yeah. And that's what's missing in a lot of people, not just industry, people. Yeah. You know, just everybody has their high horse of where they belong and who they are, that they forget that we're all human and it don't really matter. Yeah. So. Now, I know you're a songwriter and an artist as well. Are there some songs that you just are like, this song no one is getting, this song is mine? Oh yeah, my own songs. Like, you know, you learn how to pick yourself first. And that takes a lot of belief in yourself to say, you know, like you got everybody's album coming out and you can easily just throw that stuff out there like crack and just, you know, get a whole bunch of money. And you're like, well, I'm going to take a chance on me. You know, I'm going to ride for me. So just as much as I'll ride for Rhea on her album, I'll ride for B on her album, I'll ride for Chris on his album, or whoever I ride for, I need to be able to ride for myself. You know what I'm saying? And say, hey, will you give these songs to yourself? Because I'm a new artist. So giving my song to myself is like giving it to a new artist mm -hmm. and saying, I'm ho I hope you're going to make it.